Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today we play with four of my top hand grinders. So we're going to pull four shots of espresso using four of those grinders and I will do a blind tasting and by the end I will tell you uh, which one I like the most and why. We're going to play with uh, Commandante C40, uh, 1Z Easy Presso K Max, and we will also compare it with uh, Easy Presso J Max and the Kino Phoenix. So click like, sit tight, and enjoy. Commandante C40 MK4 comes in many colors. I have my one in a red wooden accents here with a wooden knob. A grinder, as far as I know, has no aluminium inside. It's made out of uh, stainless steel, plastic and in this case wood as well. It comes in that ridiculously big box and in the box, uh, apart from the grinder, few leaflets and so on, there are two jars, catching cups, one made out of glass and one made out of plastic. Unfortunately, there is no carrying case and this is the most expensive of all the hand grinders that we're testing here. Grinder weights 635 grams, so it's relatively light, it's relatively small, although very thick in hand. It has 39 millimeters conical uh, burrs of a special geometry, special steel and so on. It can grind for espresso and it can give a very delicious espresso, but it's very difficult to uh, dial in. Why? First of all, you have to use the plastic knob at the bottom to regulate the settings. For the espresso, you are usually within the first revolution. For the pour over, you have to do multiple revolutions. But the space in between each click is 30 microns. So that makes dialing for espresso a challenge. Easy one, Zipresso K Max. Commandante is made in Germany. K Max and the J Max uh, are made in uh, Taiwan. The grinder looks very professional, made mostly uh, of uh, aluminium, some stainless steel wooden uh, knob here, and a nice magnetically attached uh, catching cup. Comes with a carrying case. Inside that carrying case, you have everything you need to maintain the grinder. It weighs 712 grams. It's slightly taller than a, a Commandante, but it is thinner, so it's relatively easy to hold the grip. The burrs inside, heptagonal, conical heptagonal burrs, steel burrs. To change the settings, and that's why I love this grinder, you work within one revolution. So you've got numbers on the dial outside, 90 settings and the space in between each click is 22 microns. I think I paid 185 pounds. If we're talking about espresso, lots of people would think about J Max. So this is the grinder that's made for espresso. It can grind for other brew methods, but it is made for espresso. It's the heaviest grinder here, 790 uh, four grams uh, looks similar to a uh, K Max, but it is a bit thicker, so it makes a little bit more difficult to hold the grip on it. it has 48 millimeters uh, conical burst. To change the settings, you would have to do multiple revolutions, but you know precisely where you are because uh, on the grinder you can find that pyramid made out of dots. So with each revolution, you either cover or uncover one set of dots. On the website, they say you can do four and a half full revolutions so you get well over 400 uh, clicks at your disposal and the space in between each click and what makes this grinder so perfect for espresso 8.8 .8 microns. J Max comes with the same carrying case and the same set of accessories as the K Max. Last but not least it's the Kinu uh, that's the Kinu Phoenix so that's the cheapest version of the Kinu. I think I paid 200 pounds maybe 200 five for that. It's made out of steel and plastic. Weight 707 grams, which is not bad, but that's again because of the uh, plastic uh, part, so the catching cup, and it's not magnetically attached. You've got the O-ring on the catching cup. The knob is made out of plastic. Uh, the lip outside is made out of plastic. Each Kino grinder has the same uh, burr set, so that's the 47 millimeter uh, steel conical burrs. To change the settings here, you have to undo the very top of the grinder and then rotate the, the wheel. You have to do multiple revolutions. The numbers are so tiny that with my eyes, I cannot see them. Most people consider it to be a stepless grinder. The numbers are really meaningless, but if you have to do multiple revolutions, then you may get lost. 
It's easy to find the zero because the grinder cannot move beyond zero. The space in between each notch on the on the wheel it's 10 microns. Inu comes with the carrying case as well, very nice hard carrying case, but inside apart from the grinder, uh, rubber bands and few o-rings you won't find anything else. So we will do the blind tasting today. Number one is from for Comandante, number two K-Max, number three for J-Max, number four it's for Kino. I will try to maintain the temperature so there is no obvious temperature difference. Then we will mix it and then we will taste it. I will choose one without looking. Cheers. Nutella, yes. Some fruity sourness, but I'm not getting all the passion fruits and stuff. Not much clarity though, but the shot is pleasant, it's thick. It's just a lacking of some of the sharpness in the flavor. Some water. Cheers. Thinner body, less, less silky in a, in a texture. A bitterness is creeping up slightly too much. I don't know, so there is something I don't like in this shot. It hit, bitterness and sourness hit you at the same time and the mixture is not very nice. So far the worst shot. <sighs> shot number three. I'm not saying I'm hitting the notes here, but I'm getting more of the clarity. Body slightly thinner, notes are sharper, the finish is very neat. It's a very fresh shot. There is that balance between fruitiness and a, and a bitterness. I think, I think I like it. Good shot. And the last shot. Whew. Cheers. Very nice fruitiness. Chocolatiness here, very low. Fruitiness very high. But the good balance between body and the clarity. Yeah, and there is that sweet sourness. Nice fruity sourness. One of the better shots today. Uh, I will quickly do one more run. The second one I didn't like that much. Slightly below the rest. Yeah, so those three shots that I have here, I don't want to mix them, so I won't show you. The first one, the best body, the lowest clarity. The second one, the sharpest um, notes, but the body is thin and it's, it's, it's good. It's good. But the third one is the great combination of good body and a nice flavor note. Let me first reveal the shot that I didn't enjoy today. And remember, this is just one shot each. You cannot judge any grinder on just one shot. So, the worst shot of the day. What's that? That's number two. Ah! <laughs> That's the K-Max. That's... That's a surprise. Let's reveal the shot that was the, the, the best body. So that's that shot. Don't tell me it's J Max. <laughs> well, that's why we do it. That's why we do those, those tests. I, I, I'm speechless now. So the best body, the shot with the silkiest body, J Max today. Let's reveal the shot that was kind of in between. Because all those three, apart from the, the one from the K-Max, all those three could win. And that was... That was Comandante. The good combination of body and clarity, but nothing that, that, that I would say it, it will be standing above the, the rest. It was, but it was good. It was a good shot. Like a joint second place. Okay, so the, the, the last two shots were the kind of a joint second place. And then the first place, just to prove you, it's number four. Guys, by the way, if you are still here, click like, consider subscribing. Let's quickly wrap it up. First of all, all of those four grinders are great. If you have any of them, you should be a happy person. Comandante was like a joint second today, but it is very slow. And the process, I cannot imagine myself using it for uh, espresso on a daily basis. K-Max, one of my favorite grinders. <laughs> went last and that was the only shot really that I didn't enjoy today. I wouldn't say this is a bad grinder. Grinding experience very nice after it's seasoned eh? and this is the most seasoned grinder here. Very nicely holding the hands, not too much effort and I think it's the best looking grinder here. 
but it didn't taste good today. This is a surprise. The cheapest grinder joined second place and it gave me the best body. The silkiness. Oh my god. It was honestly, it was a... <laughs> I almost went for this one for that silkiness, but uh, especially with the light, light, medium roast coffee, I also appreciate the nuances and they, they were not there. If that's what you like, consider this one. And it's also the fastest. But it hurts each time i have to use it you know i choose i go for something else i go for k max or go for any other grinder because it is so much effort you would either build up the huge arms with this one or develop some some elbow issues well and the winner for today guys all hail to kinu you will say that i set up the toast test because this is my favorite grinder but i've never put it against all of those other grinders to be honest i never really do espresso with the hand grinders. Why I like it so much? It's very easy to use, the, like, like someone really designed it well. It fits nicely, it grinds easily, it is relatively fast, it is relatively smooth. The only downsides here is the way you adjust the settings. By the way, it came last or one before last when we do the pour over test. And for the pour over test, the game was between uh, K Max and Commandante. I won't tell you which one, uh, but I will leave the links in the description so you can check it. Now, the one thing if you only want to get one hand grinder, like your daily driver, especially for the espresso, and after seeing this video, you are convinced the Kino is the one for you, I would recommend to go for that highest end uh, Kino Classic. It's better built, it will last you for longer. The grind, the, the burrs are the same, but there is almost no plastic. There is a magnetically attached cap. Now, guys, it's your turn. Let me know which is your favorite hand grinder for espresso. If you had a chance to compare some of them that I have here, let me know which is better. And what do you think about my findings? <laughs> oh my, I'm, I'm already afraid to read those comments. <laughs> But for today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack, this is my coffee show and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you, bye!